Good afternoon everyone and welcome again to Mr. Ong Math lesson. This is a similar video to the one I made earlier, but there's a request by Itosh. He wanted me to do the same examples, uh, but with no calculator and I have decided to do this video for him. Okay, I have changed some numbers for, to make the calculation more manageable. So most of the questions are still the same, but the, the numbers have been changed slightly so that it's easier to do it manually. Okay, the first question is evaluate two and a half minus one and two third. This is a mixed number fraction subtraction. So in a mixed number subtraction, the first thing you do, you are going to change it into an improper fraction. To, to do that, it's very simple. You take 2, multiply by 2, which is 4, and you plus the 1. So the 2 and a half is the same as 5 over 2. And the same for 1 and 2 third. So again, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 will give you 5. So you are going to minus 5 over 3. Now when you are subtracting uh, in, uh, uh, a fraction, the denominator have to be the same. To do that, you must change the common denominator and the de common de denominator is 6. To get 6, you multiply by 3. So 5 over 2 is the same as 15 over 6. And to get 6, you multiply by 2. So 5 over 3 is the same as 10 over 15. So in that the case, when the denominator is the same, so 15 over 6 minus 10 over 15, you minus the numerator. So 15 minus 10 is 5, and the denominator remains the same, and that will give you your first answer. Good. Now we shall proceed to question 2. Question 2 is fine. 3 quarter of 500. In mathematics, the all means you multiply. So it means that 3 quarter multiply by $500. Or in other words, you can 500 divide by 1. So what you do, you multiply 3 by 500 is going to be 1,500 divide by 4. If you lose your long division, 1,005 divide by 4. So 15 into 4 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12, remainder 3. 30 to 4 is 7, 7, 24, uh, 7 times 4 is 28, remainder to 20 to 4 is 5. So the final answer is $375 and that will be the answer for question 2. Great, now we will continue to question 3. To convert a mixed, uh, uh, improper fraction to a mixed number, you take 34 is to 9. So 1 times 9 is 9, 2 times 9 is 18, 3 times 9 is 27, 4 times 9 is 36, so 36 is more than 34, so the biggest number is 3. So 3 times 9 is 27, and the remainder 7. So 7 over 9, and that is an easy third question. Okay, question 4. Question 4, if there were 63 students in a squash club, if two thirds of them are boys, how many of them are boys? So two thirds of the boys, so two thirds of 63 students are boys. So in other words, in mathematics, all means you multiply 60, 60, two thirds times 63. So what you do, you're going to multiply two times 63 is 126 divided by three. Use your short division, 126 divide by 3, 12 is to 3 is 4, 6 is to 3 is 2, so they are all together 42 boys. So that is the first page. Okay, now we will go on to the second page. The second page is slightly different. So read the question. Hone spent two fifths of his money on food and one quarter on clothes. He has $63 left. So what you need to do, you're going to add these two fractions first. Two fifth plus one quarter. So two fifth plus one quarter. So again, it must be the same denominator. So the common denominator is 20. So what happened is that you times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. So 2 times 4 is 8. 
two fifth is equivalent to eight twenty, and one quarter is equivalent to five twenty. So four times five is twenty. So one times five is five. So now when you add them up, it's thirteen over twenty. So now we are going to see how this is amount of clothes and food. So how um uh, so he's left equals to 1 minus 13 over 20 that will be left is 7 over 20. So 7 over 20 is equivalent to $63. That's what's left. 60, 7 over 20 amount left is $63. So in other words, 1 over 20 is 7 part is 63. 1 part will be 63 divided by 7. That will give you $9. And the last part, of course, if you want to get the here, how much here at first is 20 over 20 or one whole is going to be 20 part times nine dollars and the answer is 180 dollars is the amount he has at the start great now we do the last question on, on question on this page pam bought five kg of flour she used one quarter how many of kg of flour and she left. So very simple. So she has used one quarter. So she actually left with three quarter of five kg. Again, you multiply or five over one. Three times five is fifteen is to four. Use a, sh a short division. Fifteen is to four. You got three, and then you carry up three times four is twelve. Remainder three point seven. Seven times four is twenty eight. Remainder to 20 to 4 is 5. So he's left with 3.75 kg of flour. Of cake, I mean, of, of flour. So that will be the answer for question 6. Okay, we shall carry on now. Question 7 and 8 is a... Uh, have a read first. Okay, 7 and 8. So Paul earned 600 after tax in a school holiday. He spent one third of his money on accessories for his car. So one third of six hundred. He spent two hundred dollars on his accessories, and then he spent one fifth on food. So one fifth of the six hundred dollars. So six hundred divided by five is going to be hundred and twenty dollars on food. And he's going to spend one quarter of 600 on entertainment. 600 divided by 4 is going to be $150 on entertainment. So altogether, he would have spent $470. So how much does he bank? Do you bank the rest? So he's going to bank $600 minus 470 that will give him, he bank a total of $130 and that will give you the answer for the question 7. Okay, the last question. Okay, okay, this is slightly different. Mommy baked a cake for the family. I ate two-fifths, so I ate two-fifths. So what's left is going to be three-fifths. My sister ate two-nine of the remainder, so my sister ate Two nine of the remainder. The remainder is three fifth. If you multiply them together, it's going to be six over forty five. Or you simply simplify them, it's going to be divide by three or the numerator and denominator is going to be two over fifty. So what fraction remain? So you amount eight is going to be I eight two fifth. My sister eight to fifteen. So two fifth plus two fifteen. Make it the same denominator times 3. So 6 over 15 plus 2 over 15. So together, me and my sister ate 8 over 15. So what is left is going to be 1 minus 8 over 15. And the answer is 7 over 15. So that will be the answer for the last question. So technically, that's all. Uh, similar question, slightly different numbers. From the past exam papers, this is done manually and hopefully you enjoy this video. Cheers!